Have you ever paid over £2,000 to stay at a campsite? Well, someone did in this episode of Motorhome News. Hi, I'm Ads, and you can find links to all the news articles in the video description. Before we get into the meat of the news, the Motorhome and Caravan Show is being held at the NEC Birmingham on the 17th to the 22nd of October, and tickets are on sale now. I'll start with some important news first. Dometic are recalling their ovens made after October 2020. This is due to leaking cooker gas tubes and gas regulators. So if you've got a Dometic oven and your van was built after October 2020, or you fitted a new oven, then you should check out their website. I'll leave a link to it in the video description. Now this is very serious and could cause death, so please make sure your oven is safe. In the UK, the sale of new petrol and diesel vehicles will be banned after 2030. That's just seven years away, guys. Way back in February, the European Parliament voted to ban the sale of petrol and diesel vehicles by 2035. But by the end of March, Germany, a huge car manufacturing country, along with a few other countries, including Italy, another huge car manufacturing country, have clubbed together to oppose the changes and delay the decision. Germany has made a deal with the European Commission to sell vehicles with combustion engines which run on carbon-neutral e-fuels after 2035. Now, before you internal combustion engine fans start cheering, I have some bad news about e-fuels. From what I understand about carbon-neutral e-fuels is that they have a large energy-hungry manufacturing process. They take ages to make before refining, and you could expect to pay about £10 per litre due to how scarce they are. But that's at the moment. In the, year, in the future, it might be different. How will this affect us in the UK? Well, it's, it probably won't, but it might mean the UK will follow suit and move the deadline back. Let me know what you think in the doobly-doo. If the petrol and diesel ban goes ahead, then we could be driving electric camper vans, like in this next article. According to Out and About Live, the X-Bus, not Xbox, X-Bus electric camper van has been launched in the UK. This is a modular design vehicle allowing you to convert the van into a tipper truck, a cargo carrier, and the camper van, just to name a few. There are currently about 40 dealers in the UK and Ireland, and the camper van will cost approximately £30,000, depending on whether you want a standard or off-road version. The range is a whopping 124 miles, but you can add a swappable battery for another 248 miles. You may be looking at these pictures thinking, hmm, that looks a bit small, ads. So you might be surprised to know that it is a little bit smaller than a VW camper van. No, 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 not that one. The old ones from the 60s and the 70s. The rear section slides out to give you a 1.6 meter bed, which to me seems a little too small for tall people like myself. You can order yours now. Production won't start until 2024, with the expected delivery in 2025. Some wild camping news up next. New motone waste disposal sites have been created in Fort Augustus and the Falls of Foyers car park in Scotland. The facilities at the Falls of Foyers site include four public toilets, an accessibility toilet, baby changing facilities, and chemical and grey waste disposal. There are no information about charges or whether or not overnight stays are allowed at the moment though. And the popular Marine Walk car park in Cleethorpes near Grimsby will no longer be free and motorhomes are now banned from using it. 
The first two hours will be free, but after that a flat rate of £1.50 will apply. A height barrier will also be in place to stop motorhomes using the car park. Instead, a trial of 10 overnight motorhome friendly spaces is planned at the Thrunsco Land car park, less than a mile up the road. If it's approved, then the car park will include fresh water and toilet waste facilities and will cost £12 for 24 hours with a maximum stay of 48 hours. A bit of caravan news now. Now, I don't want you laughing at this. This is very serious stuff. Reported by Devon Live, a caravan has been seen rolling down the wrong way of the A380 in Devon, heading towards a police car with a copper chasing it. It appears that this was the result of a recovery gone wrong, but uh, you shouldn't laugh. Now that copper does running after it does look a bit funny, doesn't it? Now back to some serious stuff now. Reported by In Your Area, a man has been fined £2,000 for staying at Abbey Wood Caravan and Motorhome Club site for a weekend. The club site is, lies five miles within the London Low Emission Zone and driving those five miles cost him £300 each way in his old 2.8 litre diesel motorhome, not knowing that each time he was being charged. When he received the notice a week later, the charge of each trip had gone up to £1,000 due to late payment. He appealed and has since been managed to get a refund of £1,400. You know, low emission zones and the like are going to really catch people out, especially those driving older motorhomes. We almost got caught by the Bath Clean Air Zone a few weeks ago until we were reminded. If you want to check out your vehicle, I'll leave a link in the video description. So that's it guys. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, goodbye. And don't forget to do that liking and subscribing. And your van is... Some wild camping news up next. Itchy nose. New... And motorhomes are no lo oh, la la la. Especially that copper running after the uh, motorhome. Oh, I cocked that up.